Yeah, so to me, he, um, he pretty much... Um, made other uh, mentors and stuff unnecessary mm -hmm. and um the first four years we've talked like two times but still i was like able to help friends my family um just random people on the street like make them believe and just go on with my own way let them go on you know after that i wanted to um, certify and that's uh, for the school and that's how i got closer to him and um, that's when he um, like started to do more things like uh, spiritually for me but, Mostly healing. Um, daily, I I just harmonize. Um, that's what I actually do. Like anytime I think of energy work, so I'll just absorb like my whole environment, the um, the friction of my env environment and what is inside of my body um, that gives me you know strength as well because I help the system it helps me I help the world it helps me helps me so that's what I do I um I kill bad wives <laughs> mm, okay. um, but so, like, you don't really do like the kinetic stuff at all, or um, or like, uh, um, yeah, just like you know, like energy practices like qigong or st stuff in, in tai chi and stuff like yeah, that. Yes, I, I do soul dancing. Oh, okay, okay. Could but you describe that's... what soul dancing is to people that don't know what it is? Yeah. So, um, to me, it's um. You go um, inside yourself, right, into your heart or however you want to call it. <clears throat> and then that's where your 5D self lies, right, mm -hmm. which creates time and space. So you go inside yourself and then you move your spiritual body and the physical body just follows and they are like super flowy uh, movements like in Tai Chi. That's what they're actually doing as well. But, mm. you know, they don't know that they could sh just let go way more than they already do. So, so basically you're not like following like a specific movement like you do in Tai Chi. You're just kind of like flowing as you're, yeah, like you're just kind of basically yeah. flowing. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's like a really advanced form of Tai Chi, like is is what soul dancing is. That's really cool. Okay. Exactly. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, you know, I really have like still my childhood dreams, and um, I want to um, like coach like musicians. Or like um, sports people or artists, and I really want to like uh, be part of their expressions, so um, they can, you know, widen the message we all try to bring forth through mainstream media as well, or just through um, normal art. Yeah. I want to um, be like an energy coach. Yeah. You know, I don't like to teach too much and I'm not very personal uh, in relationships. 
so um, I'm not the best healer, but I can coach and I can give advice and motivate people. Yeah, you know, I believe like um, Michael's teachings, they are like just top notch and um, mm -hmm. it will just naturally grow and become like a known thing to the spiritual scene, like worldwide, eventually. Mm -hmm. That's no question to me. <laughs> okay, okay. But it still work, of course, it still work and um, little steps. Okay, okay, okay. So you do plan on just doing some marketing to grow it and stuff like that and uh, yeah. yeah, get it big. Okay, cool. That's really cool. Okay, okay. All right. So, Manuel, to the people that want to, that are embarking on a spiritual journey right now, um, what would be your advice to them? Like, what, what's the first step that they should take? Do you have any tips for these people? Or Yeah, so the first step is like spiritual. It's pretty, um, pretty known, like, breathe. <laughs> Don't ever forget to breathe. Mm -hmm. And um, one way you can do, like, any time you remember it, like, take one hand and the other hand, I'll explain why. And focus on the left hand, then focus on the right hand. Play till you find like perfect balance. And when then ha when that happens, you like that's the equivalent to opening your third eye because consciousness can move anywhere. Um, in this state, you don't think. So if you don't think, you have like more circuits open to the intelligence coming from your core. And if you that you incorporate that into your daily life you will just be in the flow as you call it or in alignment with your higher selves and your guides and that's how you actually um, live your spirituality from the inside out awesome awesome okay okay Awesome, cool. Well, thank you so much for this awesome interview, Manuel. Um, yeah, you rock, and uh, I really hope to see bioluminology just grow and just become, you know, really a powerhouse in the spiritual um, industry. So, so yeah, thank you so much for this interview, Manuel. Thank you, Ken.